I'm going to show you how to assemble new IKEA PAX wardrobe with the new sliding doors. All this is going to be in three parts. And in this part, part two, I'm going to show you how to join IKEA PAX wardrobes together, how to put the bottom rail and the top rail. In the previous part, part one, we did IKEA PAX wardrobe frame assembled on the floor. And I'm going to explain everything regarding the ceiling height. In a part three, we're going to assemble IKEA PAX wardrobe sliding door frame going to show you how to put the panels in, how to take the doors off the wardrobe, how to put them back on, how to adjust the hinges to line up the doors correctly with the IKEA PAX wardrobe frame. But let's do the part two now. And you're getting one box here. In the box you're going to get the IKEA PAX wardrobe door frames and the uh, bottom end and top rail, manual instructions, of course, you're not going to need. If you find this video here, you will be fine without it. Get one box of screws. That's going to include all the hinges and the screws, everything what we're going to need for the bottom end and top rail here and to join the wardrobes together partially. So here is the new screws and for joining the frame, we're going to need those two screws. From the IKEA Pax wardrobe frames, you get those joining screws in included. So we're going to use those as well. So those you're going to find in the uh, IKEA Pax wardrobe frame and that's how they're going to work. You're going to drill through the wardrobe. Place those joining screws to join the frames completely together. But later, I'm going to explain everything what you need to it as well in a moment. For now, let's use those two new screws from new IKEA pack sliding doors. So here first we're gonna join the wardrobes completely. So the fronts are lining up nicely here. Exactly the same on the top. You see the bag is slightly opening. We're gonna reduce that with the joining screws later on. So join them together at the bottom. and on the top. If you don't have this, it's fine. Just make sure they're lining up properly. So I'm happy here. The top is lining up nicely. And this is the screws from the IKEA Pax Wardrobe frames. So you're going to get them when you're going to get your frames. Don't throw them. You're going to use them later on. But for now, we're going to use those two screws from IKEA sliding doors box. So it's two of these. And one is coming the first hole at the bottom. We're not drilling anything. We just screw the screws completely in. And that's going to hold the bottom and the top in place. Not enough for this big wardrobe. So we're going to need to put those adjoining screws later on. We're going to do that in a moment. Now I can open this as this is going to be enough to hold the wardrobe in place. We're going to have the top rail here. This is the front side of the top rail. And this is the back side of the top rail with the bigger opening. So the back side of the top rail is going to come in into the top panels of the IKEA PAX wardrobe frame. There is three openings, one on each side and one on the middle. So just slide the rail in between the middle and the sides. It's kind of tight, but just push it in completely. Once you're in, on one side, you still need to come in a little bit here on the middle. See the holes need to line up on the, at the bottom as well. And on the other side, exactly the same. So once you're in the right position, we're nicely in. You see the holes are lining up nicely here under the rail. You're going to have four of these, two on each side. The middle lining up nicely. The holes are cool here as well. And the edge is lining up nicely here. We're going to need those screws for small two long ones. So two long ones with a round head coming in and secure the rail on one side. So the screw going through the rail to the side panel. 
exactly the same on the other side. Screw through the rail, through the plastic in the rail, all the way to the side panel. Now we're gonna need those four small screws. And they're coming from under the rail to the top panel. Two small screws securing the rail from under. Exactly the same on the other side. Two small screws securing the rail from under. Just through the rail to the top panels. Okay, we have the top rail done. Now we're gonna go at the bottom. This is the bottom rail. See inside here those plastics on the middle, those are soft closing. Gonna explain that more in the part three. This is back of the rail, flat on the other side. So the back of the rail coming in to the bottom of the wardrobe, slide it in. There's three openings again, one on each side and one on the middle. Line up exactly on the middle. We're gonna need those four small screws again. And we secure those screws in. I secured them in completely here, but gonna open them in a moment because I still can go like a one millimeter with the rail to the left. Make sure I'm right on the middle. So this is the long screws with the round head. They're gonna fix the rail from the side. But before that, make sure your rail is right in the middle. You see, I'm gonna open those small screws a little bit just to push it slightly on the left. It's about half a millimeter. I wanna have the rail like on the middle. So the door's gonna slide in nicely on each side at the end. Secure the bigger screws here on the side is the long screws with the round head. One on each side, through the rail to the side panel. And we have the rail done. Exactly the same on one side, same on the other side. We still have the back open slightly previously. So we're gonna reduce that to nothing with those screws. We have those joining screws from the IKEA Pax wardrobe frame boxes, which we did in a part one. So it's gonna be two at the back, two at the front. We're gonna prepare the drill now. So this uh, electric screwdriver is a combination with the drill. Just change the settings and you're gonna have a drill if you like to see what I'm using. All the links for the tools are in the description. This one have adjustable torques and it, the battery lasts forever as well. Useful tools for any DIY or furniture assembly, anything you're doing at home. So we drill it through the panel here. I put the one side of the screw in so I don't need to look for the holes later on. Regarding where you put the holes, just make sure you're not gonna drill anywhere where you're gonna put the interiors of the wardrobes, drawers, baskets, or rails, or anything what you're gonna put inside. So it's not gonna interfere with those holes. Or let's say if you have a, a hinge doors, don't put the front holes where the hinge is gonna go. So just make sure you're in the correct holes. So you're not going to interfere with your interiors or with the, your hinge doors. And now we can secure the second part of the joining screw from the other side. All four of them and that's the reduce the gap on the top at the back to nothing. That's how we want it. Okay, we have all four of them in. Gap at the back is perfect. Just how we like it. And this is it for a part two. See you in a part three, where we're gonna assemble the sliding doors, put the panels in, take the doors on and off the wardrobe, and I'm gonna show you how to adjust the hinges to line up the doors with the IKEA Pax wardrobe frame as well. Don't forget to check out part one, which is important. If you get this one right, you have a better possibility for the doors line up nicely with the frame at the end. Thank you for watching and see you in part three.